calling all Insta360 users, specifically the ones who own the X2 and the X3. I found this product off of Amazon. It's basically a mounting hardware, so you can mount this and this to your car because we've all seen videos like those awesome GTA replica videos, um, but no one really tells you how to go about doing it. And there's some products out there on Amazon with very good ratings. Like I think there's one called Gecko and it has a lot of good ratings. I'm not a structural engineer, but there's something uh, not exactly right with that design to where I would be comfortable using it at highway speeds, for example. And uh, a lot of people actually mentioned that and said that this is not something you want to use on highway speeds. So I found this item. We're going to unbox it here. There's not a lot of reviews. I think there was like five reviews at the time I purchased it. So I was like, you know what? Let's do a video review on this and see how it performs. So I'm going to go open the box here and show you what's in the box. And uh, we are taking a road trip to Colorado. Like I said in previous videos. So we will test this out during our trip to see how well it uh, operates or holds up. Or if, um, you know, I'm going to come back home crying that my X3 shattered in pieces and no longer works. We'll see. All right. So there's a lot of contents in this box. So put that aside. So first off, we have this box here. Took a while to find that. All righty. So we have a suction piece. It's in a sealed bag. Let's go ahead and cut open the bag. There we go. Okay. So yeah. This is a suction. Uh, two suction cups to a, what does it call this? A ball joint, I think. Um, ABS plastic, not metal. Uh, but it, it doesn't feel cheap. Feels feels pretty good. I believe the gecko is also plastic too. So maybe I can... Let's see if it'll suction to the table. I'm going to pull this with all my strength. That was a stupid idea. That's good. Next is this here. I think this is the arm. Oh, wow, this is metal, okay. So I think this goes on this end. So let's go ahead and do that. So screw this, and then this end, I'm pretty sure we're gonna pull out that piece just now. But yeah, something like this, this is how it goes. We got this here, okay, here we go. Huh. The uh, reason why I was just thrown back just now is because for the five reviews that were on this product, they mentioned that it did not come with a selfie stick and they felt like they were misleaded. I really wasn't expecting that. I do have the official uh, Insta360 selfie stick here. This is not Insta360, but doesn't mean it's bad. It's actually pretty good. You, It's lockable, so you can lock it. So, like, you know, if this is the height you want to go, you could just lock it at that. Or if you want to go shorter, you could lock it like that, too. Longer. Twist to lock. <clears throat> it's not going to collapse. It's actually lighter than the uh, Insta360 selfie stick. Designed for bullet time. Okay, what else we got? All right, so we got a clamp. This is plastic as well. A clamp with a ball joint. And I believe that goes on this end right here. There you go. So now we got the suction cup, we got the arm, and now we got the clamp. We have a, I guess an extra piece right here. Tripod thread with a ball joint. Final box here. This one's a little heavy. And this, ooh, yeah, this is metal. And then we have two Allen keys. And here's that 
magnetic mount up close. So here are the magnets, these little circles right here. This bottom part is rubber, so it doesn't damage your vehicle. Although before putting this on your vehicle, I would just wipe this down with a towel or something just to make sure there's no dirt on it because if there's dirt on this and you put it on your car, it will scratch your car. And then here is a thumb screw and your standard tripod mount right here. So yeah, this is it. So here's the Insta360 camera and it's on the selfie stick that came with this mount. That's attached to these magnets right here. So that's gonna go on the vehicle and this little handlebar right here. I would push it up as high as it can go because basically you want, you don't want this point of contact too close to this part right here. It's not going to be uh, very stable. So I would go as high as you could go and that would give you the best stability. And then, so now this suctions onto your vehicle, this attaches onto your vehicle via magnet, and then you can extend this and drive and have this be as steady as possible and you can get some nice uh 360 videos of yourself driving down the bay or whatever but enough goofing around let's take it out on the roads of colorado and put it to the test Playing all my time My thoughts make me tired Just running through my mind Wonder if there's peace that I could find Instead of always being on the ground I need a new purpose I'm looking for so much more Don't leave me here searching just what I'm longing for When times are getting crazy And everything seems hazy Is there some place for safe? Okay, so the reviews are in and uh, I gotta say that I am fairly impressed with this car mount kit from Pelking. Um, I didn't expect a lot, even though it is pretty pricey, but um, testing it on the road proved that this thing is well equipped to handle different scenarios. Uh, we used it in Colorado, so we had a lot of rain, a lot of cold weather. And it held up really well, even though we were going as fast as 90 miles an hour. I was for certain something would go wrong going that fast, but this thing held up like a champ. And again, um, the price is still the same. It's 109 and you can pick it up on Amazon. Um, do not worry about the ratings. I know there's only four ratings right now on Amazon's website, but um, like I said, I put this thing through the ringer it held up really well now uh 109 you know some of you might be like well that's that's very expensive i can pick up like um for example this mounting hardware on amazon for 25 dollars what's the big deal what's the difference <laughs> the big difference is that this thing is all cheap plastic like i can literally break this thing with my hand high speed will no doubt break this thing into pieces this is good for like indoor like this is good for inside the car but outside the car no way the wind will tear this thing apart and it will let you down that's not something you want to happen to your insta 360 this camera 
is close to $500. So you do want it protected and you want to mount this to your vehicle using the best mount that you can possibly get. Because if you go the cheap route, God forbid something was to happen and your camera just flew off while driving at high speeds, you best believe that you're going to have quite a few damages on your Insta360 even probably a fatal damage and to get that replaced will be a hell of a lot more than throwing in a uh, hundred dollars for a decent car mounting hardware kit for the insta360 i do not recommend at all using this with any camera i think this thing is only usable while inside the car definitely not outside the car another thing you want to keep in mind you want multiple contacts with the vehicle uh, when mounting the Insta360. This thing has four point of contacts with the vehicle. You have two right here. These are magnetic. And then you have these two suction cups right here. So that's four point of contacts with the vehicles. That means that your Insta360 is going to be uh, very stable when mounted onto your vehicle. This thing right here. This is all metal. No plastic. This is the magnetic mount. And then even the suction there's plastic yes but it is a very stiff plastic it's high quality plastic it's not the same cheap plastic like right here like you know i take a little flame to this this thing will melt this thing will not as a matter of fact if you try to use this outside even if it does manage to hold your your insta360 steady um the, if the sun is blasting on it, uh, I, I think this thing can soften up a little bit. That's how thin the plastic is on these things. Look at these suction cups. These, these things are flimsy. They don't provide a good suction at all. So although this you can pick up for $20, it is not worth the damage, the cost of replacing your damaged camera, especially the Insta360. So that is why... Even though this is $109, this is what you would want to use to mount your Insta360 or any camera. Because you don't have to just use it with the Insta360. It's a standard quarter thread. So you can mount multiple cameras. And setting up the car mount kit is really easy. First thing you do is you want to wipe down the surface of your vehicle. And wipe down these pads just to make sure it's clean. You don't want any dust or debris trapped underneath the magnetic base while you clamp it onto your car. Because if this slightly moves, then it's going to scratch up your vehicle. Once you got the magnetic base on the vehicle, then you're going to take your selfie stick with the Insta360 attached. And you're going to extend it to the height that you want. This selfie stick... Um, does tend to get stuck a lot um, so make sure you clean it after every use uh, clean it from moisture dirt debris whatever just make sure it's always clean after using it and if it does get stuck and you don't and you don't lock it properly you know your insta360 is going to collapse a little bit meaning that you know you set it at this height and while you're driving it can disengage and then fall on you and that happened to me you know it doesn't cause any damage to the camera itself it will ruin the look that you're going for especially if you need that extra height um so if you have the insta360 selfie stick you can use that as well with the pelking i've used both selfie stick interchangeably i haven't really found any major difference the only thing is that this selfie stick that comes with the pelking is a lot more stable because it's it is thicker and so there's not a lot of flex with it with the insta360 selfie stick it does flex a little bit and so as you're driving you know you can see your camera waving back and forth in the rear view mirror you're not going to get it with this pelking selfie stick but once you have it extended just attach it to the magnetic base on the magnetic base there's a little thumb screw that locks the ball joint so just unloosen it and position the selfie stick the way you want it and then lock it in place by firmly tightening the thumb screw once you have it locked in place then you're going to take your suction cup mounting arm you're going to position it along the selfie stick you don't want to clamp it too close to the magnetic base you want to give it some room so maybe where it says design for bullet time on the pelican selfie stick mount the arm right there that's a good place to mount it once you have the suction cup positioned correctly go ahead and clamp it onto your window or your car also make sure that 
the surface of your vehicle is clean and then just wipe down the suction cup as well because any dirt or debris will interfere with the um, suction cup once you have it suctioned down to your vehicle then you can maneuver the arm by unscrewing this right here if you unscrew this you can move it around so then just position it to where you can clamp it onto the selfie stick once you have it positioned lock the arm open up the clamp and tighten down the clamp on the selfie stick right where those letters are that says design for bullet time if you need to mount the arm higher up the selfie stick that's fine as well that will work just don't go too high you want it you know in this general area right here yeah i don't know if you saw that but the selfie the pelking selfie stick just collapsed on itself again so yeah that's that's my only complaint with this entire kit the selfie stick i mean i get why they have it locking in place but out of the many times i've used it twice it collapsed on me but uh probably needs a good cleaning because it was raining and it is very dusty in Colorado so it probably needs a uh, I'm pretty sure some dust and dirt got inside there because you know me being an idiot sometimes after I was using it I just collapsed it with the dirt and the dust on the selfie stick I didn't wipe it down I didn't start wiping it down until after I started experiencing the problem so not uh not really great on my part if you have any questions about this car kit, hit me up below. This is not a sponsored video. I purchased the Pelking out of my own funds, specifically for my Colorado trip. As you can see, the video came out excellent. I was able to catch really beautiful scenery using this camera, especially when driving up Pikes Peak in Colorado. I was scared to drive up Pikes Peak, but my brother wasn't, so I attached it to his car. And I uh, stayed within the safety of my Airbnb um, and I don't regret not driving up Pikes Peak. But the video that my brother captured using uh, this mounting kit on his rental vehicle is amazing. If you're heading up to Colorado and uh, you have an Insta360, make sure you pick this up and uh, take it with you so you can get some awesome, uh, some awesome videos of driving around Colorado. It's a really beautiful state. But that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't, thumbs down work also. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. I'll be hanging out in the comment section below. My name is Z. Hasta luego, muchachos.